Hello to all of you, I am Matt Bell and welcome back to Cities Skylines. So I have those two little, uh, well they're not little, uh, those two nice main stations. Um, but at the moment they're standing quite in the middle of nowhere, so that is definitely something that needs to change. And that's uh, as well something I'll tackle um, in the near future, well probably this is the next thing I want to do because uh, I want to expand from here and there towards those two stations and uh, uh, wait a second where is this train going Be uh, or, or, or why is it going to this station um, yeah that doesn't make really much sense because all the passengers they are well they are mm, quite stranded they are stuck at the terminal, they can't get anywhere because, um, yeah. As you can see, the roads aren't connected to my main uh, uh, road network. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit problematic for them, but obviously they can take the, tr the next train to get away from there. Um, yeah, so you see, this must definitely change quite quickly. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly how long this will take because of obviously the city needs to grow by itself. I can lay down the roads, but the buildings, they must uh, come from their own. So uh, this might take a while to actually uh, include those two stations to my city. Um, yeah, so, well, that's one of the main things I'll do in this episode and maybe in the next one, I don't know for sure. Um, guess I will find out. So, okay, this looks like a step into the right direction, um, but again, I'm losing citizens and I don't like this, and oh my goodness. Uh, oh, I have uh, reached something that I would call a death wave, because there are lots and lots of people dying at one moment, and... Uh, I can't seem to get rid of all the dead bodies in time, so they keep rotting uh, in their houses, which is not good. So um, let's see what I can do against that. Um, I have another modern cemetery, I can put it down here. So uh, maybe I'm able to get rid of all of them bit faster like this because uh, as soon as people are start starting to die over there uh, then people will start dying elsewhere for example over here and probably somewhere over there later on let's check my uh, original town all right well yeah there are a lot of dead bodies as well over here mm, okay so let's see oh oh I see what's going on Cemetery is already full, so I'll I'll give them um, I'll give them uh, this nice large advanced crematorium. I think it even fits quite well into this area. There we go. Everybody's happy now. And another thing I should probably change is uh, that I don't have any on and off ramps to the highway on this uh, peninsula so far, but that is going to change in a few moments. Okay, I need to get rid of those buildings there, I'm sorry guys. But instead, you will have a nice uh, possibility to reach the highway. So, that should be good, right? There we go. Oh, and <laughs> whoops. Um, I seem to have flooded my uh, tunnel over here, but I don't think that's uh, a problem for my trams or the cars that want to go through there. Well, there it is dry, but here it's not. Yeah, a bit of water won't stop them. I'm pretty sure about that. And also I realized that I probably did a mistake because um, 
I think I mentioned that I wanted to have a, a highway going in a circle around here. Um, so the crossing with this highway should be somewhere over there and uh, right there where I just put some new, some other roads down. So I need to get rid of them now again. So I think this one is okay, that one as well, but over right over there I want to have my highway. Mm. How will I do this? Will I make it underground? Yeah, that that's actually I think that's a nice idea to have it underground there and then come up somewhere over here maybe and then go down. Ooh, and yeah, as well, I, I I already thought about a place where I wanted to put my airport, and I think this area over here is cool. So maybe I'll have uh, um, this highway going down here into a circle there, and another highway crossing uh, right from there and going to the airport. I think that might be a good idea. So let's start doing it. Okay, there it is built, so I still needed to get rid of some more roads, but um, I'm more than happy to do that because it's for a greater good, I would say. Um, and I got enough space to build them uh, somewhere else. So now I have uh, a nice intersection once again, which will lead me... Uh, to a nice circular highway right uh, around downtown and this will prove uh, I hope this will prove very handy and there we go again I rebuilt some of the roads uh, rezoned my offices where I could and I also have this nice bridge going over my highway looks fancy I would say um, so I got a highway going underneath this highway and a little bridge going over it so they can uh, so my citizens can go everywhere they want okay so I already did a first thing because uh, as you can see uh, I connected my train stations this one and as well this one uh, to my road systems so uh, they are not as isolated as they were before but still they're standing uh, in the middle of nowhere and they don't look that cool. Well, they look cool as buildings. Um, but a real main station must be surrounded by big buildings and uh, other stuff. A nice plaza in ri right in front of it and uh, things like that. So that's not the case uh, over there so far. But my city will grow, it will, de it will develop, and uh, then you'll see all those things I just talked about. Uh, but of course I don't only want to expand uh, over here in my central area. Um, I also want to uh, keep building my outer areas, my suburban areas. Uh, so for example over here this one. Um, I got some nice skyscrapers going on around here, but uh, I think it looks a bit ridiculous um, when they're just standing right at the edge of my town, so I need uh, more buildings right here. Um, yeah, and that's the next thing. I want to put some more commercial right here. Um, but I don't have any demand for it, so I'll just uh, lay down the roads and keep it in mind for later when my demand is rising again. Which it hopefully will do at some point. And there my commercial demand is coming back. So I am immediately going to paint some blue squares on the ground. And uh, quite immedi immediately after I did that the first buildings pop into existence. Oh, 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 look at this traffic jam. Look at the traffic piling up here. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. I need to think of something. I definitely need to do that. Um, but I'll probably do that in the next episode because I think it's a good point to actually leave this one right here. Uh, as you can see, we got everything connected. The train stations are connected to my 
uh, road network um, and train stations are connected to each other. I got uh, a little the first part of my um, circular highway uh, in downtown ready and uh, expanded a bit over here. So uh, yeah, I think this is a good point. So uh, I have to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share the video or basically just do what you want. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good time and uh, bye bye.